Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Joy of Stick. Stickhead here with your Atari ST gaming channel. Now we're still touring the Atari ST platform games and this time a game very close to my heart. It's Chucky Egg. Now it's close to my heart not for the ST version but more for the Acorn Electron version which is the version I had mainly because it was one of the greatest games on the Acorn Electron. In fact, the BBC and Electron version of Chucky Egg are probably, in my opinion, one of the best platform games ever made. It's just that good. Um, and when you're used to playing the kind of games that an Electron can handle, uh, when you go from that kind of game to the kinetic, fast, incredible experience that is Chucky Egg, it's just, it, it blew my mind back in the day. And it still does that they managed to squeeze it into an Acorn Electron. Um, yeah, great game. So I'm, I'm looking forward to giving this a try, the ST version. Now the ST version was made in 1988. Now I'm not sure what the target system was for Chucky Egg. Um, whether it was de developed for the BBC Micro first or whether it was developed for the Spectrum first, I don't know. But that was in 1983. So this is a good five years later. So the proper anachronism here. Um, and this version was written by Icon Design, as you can see right there. Um, now the only other game I know them for is, uh, what's it called, Rockford. Rockford, which again is a bit of an anachronism on the ST. It's, uh, it's basically a version of, I'm pretty sure there was an arcade game called Rockford which itself was a licensed clone of Boulder Dash. So it's basically the ST version of Boulder Dash. Um, so yeah, which isn't very good, I don't think, on the ST, if I remember rightly. So I'm not, <laughs> I'm not full of high hopes for this, but uh, if, without further ado, let's crack on and give it a go. Number of players. <laughs> See, this is, this is just like the original, just like the original. Obviously the person who made it is fond of the original to include that. Alright, we're in. Okay. They seem to have replaced Hen House Harry with some really bizarre egg in a hat monster. Look at the state of him. Oh man, it's nightmare fuel. That is, look at him with legs growing out the side of him. Oh, I missed the jump. It's cool that the, the level layout is exactly how I remember it. And the... Um, the speed of the action seems about right. Oh, I can't get on with that sprite though. And the backgrounds are a bit garish, aren't they? Oops. I obviously used to play it on the keyboard, being an Acorn Electron owner. <coughs> the only joysticks we had were these analogue monstrosities that, that didn't auto-centre. Oh, they were horrible. Absolutely horrible. I think we used them once and never bothered again. I think, do you know, I think this might have been a labour of love for the person who co- Oh, blimey. Who coded it. Uh, there are a few things that are making me say that. It's the accuracy of the level layout. It's the fact that they've got details like the way you timed this jump in the original was as soon as the platform disappears from the top, it appears at the bottom. And I've seen loads of people tackle this level for the first time and not be able to do that bit. Oh, I fell. <laughs> and, that, and that's basically because they don't know that fact. Also, when you walk off a platform, there's no momentum, you just fall straight down, which is another hazard of this particular level. And that's um, in the game too. And yeah, that's the same as well. The way you could jump on that platform and end up down there. Hmm. <laughs> I'm in two minds about this. Whoa. I missed my jump. Alright, let's try again. How, 
How did we used to get this? Again, the only way of getting that was to get to the top of the ladder and then do a stationary jump. Oh dear, that wasn't good. So it is very faithful in a way, but not visually. Um, I might see if I can grab a screenshot of the Acorn version so you can see for yourself what, it, what the original looked like if you're not familiar with it. But I mean, I understand that they, they couldn't produce. Oh no. Uh, a, really visually accurate game because people just wouldn't buy it they'd just laugh it off even in 1988 which is obviously early on in the ST's life let's give it another go one player I tell you what it does it makes me want to play the original <laughs> it really makes me want to get my acorn electron out of the loft this is though, what a game. I think I'm entirely put off by the way that this version looks. As far as I can tell, it plays really, really good. Really good, really well. The AI on the emus? I always thought they were emus. Of course they were not emus. <laughs> oh, sudden epiphany. I always thought they were emu, like ostrich things. Of course they're not. Where would that belong on a farm like this? But they're obviously geese, aren't they? What a fool. What a fool I've been all these years. I, you know, I think the more I play this, the more I could get into it. What I should do is try and define the keys and play the game that way and see how that feels, how close to the spectra uh, acorn version it is. <clears throat> of course, one of the great things about the Acorn Electron. Was there an enemy down in this right-hand corner in the original? I think there might have been. Oh dear. <laughs> don't touch the top of the screen. Not good. I don't know why. But there you go. Oh, it's fallen off. Oh, I think, if anything, Hen House Harry is a little bit too quick in this version. Could have done with slowing him down just a touch. It's all it's all coming back to me now. Let's just drop down and get that. Now I don't want to jump down there because you end up you end up uh, falling to your death, bouncing around like a knob. And would be there, wouldn't he? Never mind. No! Oh. <sighs> See, I think the problem is I'm expecting it to be just as sensitive as the uh, Acorn Electron version, and it's not quite. I think that there's just that little tiny bit of input lag. Oh, hello! <laughs> that used to happen a lot on the Electron version as well. Bouncing around right to the bottom. Oh, there he goes again. <sighs> I thought I was going to do better that time, but obviously not. Never mind. Which of my scores was the best? Probably the first one. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, I didn't make it to the top. Annoying. But there you go. That's Chucky Egg. Now, I didn't manage to find uh, many reviews of it. I mean, probably because it's so early on, really. Uh, the review I did find was in ST Amiga format. I mean, by, way back in the day when they used to have both the ST and Amiga in the same magazine. They gave it 75%, so respectable score. And they say it's lovingly adapted from the 8-bit days with lots of impressive backdrops uh, and a musical accompaniment, which sounds brilliant to start with, but will soon have you turning down the volume. Yeah, I can, <laughs> I can see that happening, to be fair. Uh, and they basically said it's very addictive, but very difficult. Uh, and they felt that um, it needs to have a high score save because if you spend so long trying to hone your skills and get better at the game and when you come back to the game your high scores have all gone it's a bit of a shame isn't it 
you know, I can see that it's not not difficult to add a high score save to an SD game. So I say that was fair criticism. But there you go. I mean, harks back to the 8-bit days, doesn't it? We never used to get to save our high scores then either. Countless little scraps of paper with high scores written on. That's what I remember from the 8-bit days. <laughs> but Chucky Egg, in summary, it's it's a good conversion, really good. It seems very authentic. Um, the level layouts, the way Henhouse Harry, Harry controls, the game itself has been ported really lovingly. But the look of the game, it's just not right. What have they done to Henhouse Harry? And those garish backgrounds just don't really work. So yeah, almost, almost a really good conversion. and uh, A game that I would have adored if they'd have nailed it. So there you go, guys. As ever, thank you ever so much for watching. And, and thanks for leaving your likes and your comments down below. They really are appreciated. Uh, so yeah, take care, guys. See you next time.